Welcome to Gun News in 5 minutes or less. This is brought to you by the DR Drake 63 channel. Uh, on my segment called Gun News in 5 minutes or less, I have run several stories about the National Rifle Association, the NRA, uh, and the problems that they are having and have even kind of gone outside some of my, my goals in terms of not just reporting facts, but giving some editorial opinions. And uh, those opinions are along the, along the lines of, I'm very disappointed with how their crisis financially and, and appearance of impropriety is being handled. The fact that uh, Wayne LaPierre and, and, and the folks at the top have not been forced to step down. And I'm starting to believe that uh, the way that organization is structured they're not going to be. The power's all in the hands of the folks that we're having the problem with. Just my opinion. Again, some of this is alleged stuff, but I don't think it matters. Uh, I think when you've got an appearance of impropriety, you have to do something about it for the good of the mission uh, of the organization, and that just seems to be lost. Well, uh, I have made a decision that I am going to uh, join, and I have join the Gun Owners of America, the GOA, and I've made this decision based off of a lot of time spent researching what they're about. I've done this based on uh, a lot of recommendations from, from other Second Amendment supporting firearms enthusiasts that I respect their opinion, that I like, uh, and I've made this decision based on I need to do something, and I don't need to feel like uh, my dues have been wasted. So. You can click on their website for 25 bucks. You can join for a year, and that's what I did. And uh, I didn't do it because it was only 25 bucks. But I want to see: Am I going to get deluged with partner program mail, people selling me insurance, people trying to sell me a condo in Florida and alligator handbag that says NRA and all that kind of garbage on it? or people that uh, call me up and ask me for more money after I've made a donation. Those are all things that the NRA uh, turned into over the years and it turned me off. I'm gonna pay very close attention to what the GOA is doing. Very easy to, to log on and, and, and become a member and I encourage you to do so. And uh, I hope that uh, they will stay more focused on the mission uh, of defending firearm owners' rights than the NRA seems to have been over the, well, really over the last number of years. And this is what I hope these guys can live up to right here. It says, how is GOA different from other gun organizations? Two words, no compromise. Let's hope so, guys. So they have my support for now. I'm going to monitor it. And if I like what I see, I will continue to support and support at a wider level and encourage you guys to do it too. It's time for me to make this change. So one of the things on the GOA website I thought was cool is it gives you the ability to look up your legislators and uh, send them all emails. If you look here, here's the directory on mine. And you can see it gives my federal officials, state senators, who my representative is, my state officials, governor, all the way down through state and local you can check off whoever you want and compose a message. Now, if you look real closely, I see something that's quite alarming here in terms of uh, the party affiliation with every single one of these people. So as, as people like to say these days, you do you. I'm not here to scold anybody for supporting the NRA. But I can tell you, looking back at a lot, hundreds of comments, hundreds and hundreds of comments about the stories I've run on the NRA. The most predominant comment is, I'm not gonna support them until Wayne LaPierre is gone. And I'm, I'm in that same boat. So uh, don't not support somebody else, get on board. There's the GOA, which we're talking about here. There's the Second Amendment Foundation. Get involved however you can. We should not take these rights for granted. Uh, we should be able to, but we can't. And that's the unfortunate situation that we're in politically. So anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I'll keep you posted on how I think they're doing. And this has been Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less. Please subscribe for updates.